Hi, this is Georgia, and please go and check out the interview I did with Mr. Indy. It was a really uh, fun time, and my new album, Euphoric, is out on the 28th of July. Adios. So, um, in 2019, before Seeking Thrills came out, that was my last record, I, um, I made a song with Muramasa called Live Like We're Dancing. And the demo, somehow, Rostam heard it. Um, and Rostam messaged me on Instagram saying, um... <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I am here. Um, Rostam messaged me and uh, Rostam, who I ended up working with for this. And um, he messaged me saying that he heard the demo and he really liked my voice. And so that was very exciting for me. And then forward on to the end of 2019, I found myself in LA and I had two days to spare. So I messaged Rostam being like, can I meet up with you? Um, to make some music. He was like, sure. So I went round to his, and on that first day, we wrote It's Euphoric, first single. So everything you hear on that song is everything we wrote in that day. So by that point, I was very excited, and I knew that I'd want to work with Rostam for this new record. So that meant the next two years, I was developing ideas and to, uh to hopefully eventually work with Rostam. I think it's to feel like that optimism, excitement, thrill, uh, happiness, sadness. It's like a feeling of, I think also a bit of like losing control of it, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I've been such a follower of Ross Sam's work his producing, but also his own album, Change of Phobia, was was such a beautiful record. It's his own record that I really listened to that a lot. That was kind of like my soundtrack. And then when the Heim record came out, I just fell in love with that record. And I looked at the back, I was like, who produced this? And then obviously Ross Sam, Ross Sam's name appeared and I was like, wow, he's produced this whole record. And um, yeah, just familiar with certain things. He's been involved with Frank Ocean and Solange and like Carly Rae Jepsen. And, I don't know, just he always works with cool kind of artists. Like his, he's friends with Charlie XCX. I've always loved Charlie's music. And yeah, I don't know. He's just like, he's just like a really, really interesting, great musician. <laughs> Well, the, the, the main challenge or the difference was that I went from, I went to Los Angeles. So it was like being in a new environment. It was like living there and like, you know, how that kind of affected my songwriting. And I think the challenge of this record is really like, I think it was just like the idea of taking that leap of faith and trusting your intuition or your gut of like, I want to go and do something different and I don't give a fuck about, you know, whatever. I just want to make music that I like. And I think that's what this challenge was. It was about, should I go? Should I not? Should I stay? Da, da, da. So yeah, I would say it was a leap of faith. Well, it's a slightly reimagined version of um, the original. And yeah, it's exciting. You have to, I can't give too much away. <laughs> I think stick it on your AirPods or whatever, on your headphone and go for a walk around your area and enjoy the sky, enjoy the surrounding, 
think it's a bit, it's an album that's full of different textures and colors. And I think, you know, that's, that's, I, I, I was very much influenced by the world presenting, you know, as opposed to just looking on your phone. I was interested in looking up as not looking down. So like, yeah, I think it'd be nice for you to listen to it on headphones, walk around and take 40 minutes out of your day. I think all night. Yeah, it's going to be the one that a real, I think, give that audience the euphoric feeling. Yeah, I do. I love that gig. I thought it was amazing. That festival's incredible. Uh, I love the people. Uh, so it was one of the best festivals I've ever played. And yeah, I hope to play it again. Um, we both love Prefab Sprout. We both share a love for, for that song. And um, Alexis and I, I've worked together for many years, actually. I've played drums for him and I've known him for so long. And I don't know, it just seemed like a nice cover to do together. But um, I shall text him now and say, oh, I've just been in Mexico and they're telling us to release the Prefab Sprout song. So 